What do I do? I am saving the world one sandwich at a time. There's a lot of people in their kitchens that need my help. I started my blog because I realized that there was a crying need for a bit of style in the kitchen. Uh, I work with a wonderful hat maker and obviously that's key in the kitchen. One should not be bareheaded in my profession. I am trying to bring etiquette back to the kitchen, which, you know, that went out when people stopped wearing hats. If you've got a bare head, I mean, how are you meant to learn about nuance and language and subtlety in the, la cuisine, c'est impossible. One needs to remember to be timeless and iconic, regardless of your social status in the kitchen. There's a bit of a trend with the Lululemons and such, and that's all right when one's doing power yoga, of course, bien sûr. One doesn't want to do yoga in one's best hat or feather boa. I tried it once. Feathers are extremely hot. They stick to you. I once fried kale with my best feather boa and that was extremely dangerous. I mean, it's good to take a risk in the kitchen. One should never have a scented candle when one's eating because it affects, you know, your palate. Let me tell you, bubbles are, should be on a par with children and animals to not work with. I mean, the most rewarding thing about what I'm doing essentially is the success stories. Getting feedback that a marriage has been saved because of a decent sandwich, a childhood trauma has been alleviated because I've suggested a scrambled egg on brioche. So, you know, what was the question?